Welcome to episode 491. James Goodnight from Agricultural Data to Father of Business Analytics. This is an outline of episode 491. There are four reasons we study Jim Goodnight. First, he co invented SaaS, one of the world's most successful software. Second, his company SaaS is rated to be one of the best place to work. Third, he succeeded in North Carolina, not in Silicon Valley. Fourth, he has been CEO of SaaS since 1976. That was 43 years ago. Let us meet James Goodnight. When we began uh, automating the use of analytics to make sense of data. Now, when I look back nearly uh, four uh, decades, there are two things that remain unchanged. The first is that data is constantly being generated, only today it's accelerated tremendously. The second thing that remains unchanged is our mission to keep innovation, to support the great work that you do and the important decisions that you make. He was born in Salisbury, North Carolina in 1943. His parents ran a hardware store. Jim Goodnight earned three degrees from North Carolina State University. Here's a picture of North Carolina State University campus. He earned his Bachelor of Science in 1965, his Master of Science in 1968, and a PhD in 1972. In 1976, he co-founded SAS with John Saul. He was 33. John Saul, the co-founder of SAS, also becomes a very wealthy man. SAS started as a project of analyzing agricultural data. Uh, from internet uh, activity, from communications, from retail, from all the sensors that are everywhere. And while uh, computers have been getting smaller, data has been getting bigger. So whatever your role is as a leader, a researcher, a programmer, or a data analyst, the work that you do using analytics leads to better understanding, new discoveries, and innovation. The need for constant innovation. From a business perspective, that goal has supported our growth and our position as the leader in business analytics, where, application, where the application of analytics can help organizations meet their challenges and thrive. Now, our commitment to R&D remains strong as we reinvested 25% of our revenues last year into R&D. And I am a big believer in constant innovation. Best place to work for 13,000 employees. The accolades, but I think the most impressive thing about SAS is of the 13, 14,000 people that work at SAS, they consistently rate top of the world in terms of the best companies to work for. Here's James Goodnight quote, treat employees like they make a difference and they will. Here are two mistakes in investment which he cut short. Uh, once you've dug a hole deep enough, get out and start a new hole, you know, you're getting out of it. I've got several examples of this. Uh, when we started a, a gaming uh, group back in uh, uh, about 1995, um, we were, uh, you know, games are, are programs, so therefore writing games, uh, some of our development people wanted to do it uh, by, by the year 2000. But uh, how's it replace? We, are, we had revenue of about 55 million, uh, and it, it was continuing to grow by, you know, 15, 20 million a year. But I looked at the expenses. So for the 55 million in revenue, I was paying 85 million in expenses. So, pulled the plug on them, sold it off. Also, I, I spent a, money, a lot of money buying a little airline called Midway back in the, back in the 2000s. Uh, flew up and down the East Coast mainly. Uh, that was, uh, you know, they, they, were, they, were, they, they were starting to go under. Uh, there was, we had a sort of a, a recession after the uh, dot-com bubble broke. What have I learned today? Three things. First, Jim Goodnight is an inventor. Second, he's the father of business analytics. Third, he's one of the greatest CEO of all time. He led SAS since 1976, or 43 years ago. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Jim Goodnight 9 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.